When you go for a walk while drunk, you're not actually going for a walk. Instead, I like to think that the alcohol is the one taking you for the walk. It's like it has this ability to act a parasite on your mind that makes you only want two things. To go outside and steal. And go outside and steal I did, kinda, on this fateful day. After my last semester of college, Roman and I were trying to pop bottles like Drake and drink to our accomplishments. And what better way to celebrate within the college spirit than with a bottle of Vitaly vodka and a little bit of Roblox War Simulator. This is just how we released our masculine rage and violent tendencies that pent up throughout the semester. Through alcohol and murder. <laughs> it's a healthy outlet. So we're fighting in the Iraq war, having the times of our lives when these drinks really start to speak to us. We don't want to fight the war in Roblox anymore. Instead, we want to fight the war in the real world, metaphorically speaking. So we head outside as patriots with our heads up high and ready to take away from society and generally be terrible and a nuisance. We start picking up big sticks and running around, eating dirt, you know, man shit. We're probably outside walking around acting like real fools for like 30 minutes until we lay our eyes upon something no drunken man could ever look away from, a traffic cone. Roman leans over and whispers in my big ear, bro, that's the bomb, that's the intel, man. We need to secure that, we need to take it and bring it home if we don't it'll be catastrophic man we won't be able to look at ourselves the same way again if we don't take that right now and that's all i needed to hear before i started to steal public property but then we look over and there's another cone and another cone and so on i'm carrying about four cones before i lean over to roman and decide to manipulate him <laughs> hey bro you should carry the cones i'm taller so i can stack them up higher while you hold them lower down it just makes sense that way and you know what the little guy buys it so now roman's got all the traffic cones and i start running around and acquiring more as fast as i can at this point my empathy is really starting to not work in the face of how drunk i am so i'm thinking i need to see how many of these cones i can get roman to hold in total and roman was unbothered he liked carrying the cones so it wasn't all that bad we end up managing to stack like seven traffic cones each before he gets to his limit. All the drinks and the heavy lifting get to him because he just throws up right on the ground, which messes up his balance, and then he just falls onto the floor. And then all these traffic cones he's carrying end up in the air, falling towards him. Despite this, the little soldier stays true to his mission and starts crawling on the floor towards home. We need to retrieve the intel. This, this cannot be. We need to get the cones. I look him dead in the eyes. What good is coming home with traffic cones if you're not by my side? So I pick up Roman on my shoulders and carry him all the way home. We may not have brought any traffic cones back this day, but we found something far more important to the both of us. A friend strong enough to lift up a drunken friend when he's down at his lowest. We got back home and finished our day with a little more Roblox War Simulator, but with a brand new appreciation for this game. We felt after carrying endless traffic cones, we could really empathize with the struggles of a Roblox character in the Iraq War. And for that, I'm glad I made Roman throw up. I mean, at least I carried him back home. I feel like that kinda makes up for it a little bit. <laughs>